Hello everyone, uh, welcome to RMSC 780's uh, hop, uh, Method of Operation Research. After you reviewed the lecture 9, uh, Nonlinear uh, non Programming section, uh, Part 1, uh, I would like to introduce a little bit more practical use of nonlinear programming and typical uh, nonlinear programming problems to be solved. Um, this lecture, we're going to focus on using SciPy, similar to the linear programming section. Um, uh, we reviewed it before, and the SciPy has a rich variety of nonlinear uh, optimization uh, algorithm, and actually migrated from uh, both MATLAB flow uh, of uh, so-called minimizer, and also as there is a Fortran subrout uh, subroutine library, which is migrated later on to C, and there's a C library called MinPack, it's called a minimization pack, actually uh, uh, migrated into a SciPy implementation. So first let's uh, talk about differentiating the SciPy uh, ecosystem in the SciPy library. Uh, SciPy and the NumPy we already talked about, they are the, uh, offered by the same place, and they are goes hand in hand. Also, the matplotlib is the visualizations uh, library, and SymPy is a uh, symbolic computational in Py, uh, Python program. The last one is the panda. Panda is the uh, data set and data, uh, data frame uh, management so uh, library, similar to uh, the database. Uh, it's a very easy to use object-oriented uh, so-called data management uh, library. Okay, so let's move on to talk about SciPy, focus on SciPy, this one. So to understand the SciPy modules, you can just import the SciPy and type a so-called help SciPy, and that will give you some of the uh, uh, information about SciPy, or, you know, what type of library they have. They have a lot of in clustering, fast Fourier transform, integrations, uh, linear algebra, optimization, signal processing, sparse matri matrix, uh, eigenvalue system, uh, frequently using engineering disciplines such as mechanical engineers, uh, engineering, uh, civil engineering, industrial engineering, and uh, uh, electrical engineers. So there's a rich variety of uh, library software for you to use. Uh, we're going to introduce quickly uh, how to install SciPy on your computer. And you can install SciPy, <coughs> Scientific Pi. Uh, both in Anaconda environment, which is the environment we recommend in this class, or you can using a pip install, pip install. Uh, for install in Anaconda, all you have to do is in the Anaconda the environment, uh, DOS prompt, uh, command prompt, just type conda install scipy, and also you can do conda update scipy in the future. After you install that, you can import SciPy and print the sci, uh, SciPy.file. And it will tell you what are the configuration files stored in your system. The other way to install SciPy is using pip uh, installation. So all you have to do is uh, using the prom escape uh, to, uh, it, within the notebook, you say pip install dash u and also update the SciPy. So these are the two ways, uh, general way people install SciPy. They're straightforward. So next we'll talk about using uh, optimized modules in SciPy, which is this class we focus on mainly. Uh, you can explore the other aspect of the SciPy uh, integration, uh, solving differential equations, uh, and signal processing, eigenvalue, eigen system type of thing later on uh, once you get familiar with the SciPy interface. 
the uh, once again SciPy interface is fully integrated with a NumPy array. So the majority of the SciPy function using a NumPy array and a Panda a Panda data frame to perform the calculation. Since the underlying uh, program algorithm was implemented either in Fortran or C, uh, C++, so they're not gonna lose the performance uh, in the real world. It's only the user interface portion, which is the interface portion with data manipulation portions using Python. The real calculations is actually optimized using the C program or Fortran program, okay? Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple of things. It's called minimization, uh, minimize scale and minimize, and also doing curve feeding. They can do curve feeding uh, <coughs> for a, a, a set of data points. We're going to feed a curve through these data points using a variety of uh, feeding algorithms. And root, uh, root and root scale of scalar, which is finding the zoo, finding the zero of the function, of one or many variables. Uh, and the last part we already introduced is uh, in the previous uh, modules called linear programming solver as a specialized uh, 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 solver only for linear program. We're gonna start talking about minimize uh, scalar and minimize uh, function. Minimize scalar is pretty much using for single variable function. For example, here I have a function y equals to 3x to the fourth minus 2 times x plus 1. And this is a function we can plot like this. Okay. We can plot like this. And give you a little bit smaller. It's a, a quadratic, quadratic polynomial function. We're trying to find a minimized value. Um, to solve this problem, it's really, really simple. All we have to do is from uh, SciPy uh, optimizer, optimize library, import, minimize, scalar. Then we define the fun objective function, which is 3 times x to the fourth minus 2 times x plus 1. That's the original objective function. All we have to do is minimize scalar and give that defined, newly defined objective function. Then we can print out the solution. Okay, result basically is actually 0.55 is the min, uh, minimum point and objective function 0.1745 uh, and so on. <clears throat> so this is also very simple. Okay, we can use in a several different uh, algorithm we introduce in uh, later part of the uh, lecture period and talking about brand method, golden search method, and bounded. So let's check out some of these function. Why is that? So uh, the brand method is using brand's algorithm. You can check out SciPy. They give you plenty of references and paper regarding this uh, algorithm. And the golden section method, we're gonna talk about it later on in, I think it's in lecture 11, okay. <clears throat> And bound is basically a um, uh, bounded implementation of branch method, which give you a lower and left uh, upper bound for your search. So this part is also very simple. All we have to do is using defined objective function, using minimize scalar and give the objective function uh, definition, and it will automatically find it. And you can also use it giving a break, okay? So minimize the scalar, give it a bracket between negative one to zero, it will give you a similar situation. So this function actually has two minimi point, minimal, uh, one between negative one to negative uh, point 0.5. The other minim minimal point is between five and one. So we're trying to find a specific regions of minimize uh, point. You can say if, there's a positive portion, and then you will find this one. If this is between uh, zero to negative one, it will find the other one. So it's a symmetric, actually. <coughs> actually. All right. 
Next topic we're going to cover this lecture will be the minimizing a function with many variables. Okay, and in this case we're also talking about lean, uh, we can including in the uh, minimizer the linear constraint, nonlinear constraint, and the bond on the variable. So these are the three type of constraint and the uh, uh, multivariable uh, minimization problem. Okay, she give you a point to start with. So we'll give you an example, import NumPy, uh, import SciPy optimize uh, using minim minimize and linear constraint. So this is the linear constraint we're going to talk about first. Then we'll come back to talk about more complicated constraint situation in the later uh, lecture period. So we're going to control this lecture within 10 to 15 minutes. So here what we're trying to do is we have a number of buyer is equals to 10. Okay, um, <clears throat> so here's let's try to demonstrate how to using a minimizer. Imagine you have you are a stockbroker, okay, whose interest is to maximize the total income of the sales of a fixed number of your stock, and you want to identify a set of buyer, and for each buyer you know the price they will pay and how much cash they have on hand. So you can purchase the, uh, you can uh, phrase this problem as a constraint optimization problem. Um, objective function is that you want to maximize your income. However, minimizing to find the value, you just multiply your objective function by negative one. Okay. So here we're trying to say number of buyer, you have 10, you have 15 share to sell, sell to these uh, buyer. Uh, Initially, I want to randomly generate uh, generates a uh, whole bunch of a price. Okay, so ten of those. So generate 10, uh, 10 of those number of buyer. Then money available. Okay, so so one to four, to one to four. I generate number of buyer. Cool. So each one can buy between one to four share from you. Okay. So number uh, number of share per buyer equals to the money available to right here. Okay, money available to those um, <clears throat> divided by prices. Okay, divided by prices. So we can print the uh, price money available number of share per buyer uh, in three separate. Okay, so here you're gonna have uh, prices, okay, and number uh, money available for the second one 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 three one three one two for those ten buyer, and then you have number of share per buyer. Okay, you can they can buy. So now we're trying to set up a, a linear constraint. A linear constraint equals to number of buyer, which is number equals to one equals number of buyer. So I have uh, 10 of ones in the vector, lower bounds number of share, that's the initial solution, and upper bounds number of share. So each one of them has the lower and the upper bound. So bound on each one of the, uh, will be also from zero to N, okay, N is N number of share per buyer. So objective function is actually very simple. It's negative x times the price, which is uh, each share, x is the each share, each buyer gonna purchase. So now we define objective function, the bound and the linear constraint. Now we can put together into a minimizer in SciPy. The minimizer actually uh, have the objective function. Initial uh, guessing is 10 times whatever random number it is right here between zero and one. Argument given me the price, the constraint, and the bound. Okay, so the three argument is the price, as, which is cost coefficient, and then the constraint based on that, and the bound is the up, lower and upper bound for each buyer. So solving, and this is explanation of this uh, calling the minimize function. 
you have objective function, x0 is the uh, initial solution, guessing solution, and uh, argument, which is the price and the constraint uh, and the bounds. Okay. Okay, so the objective function, you need the decision variable plus the price, which is the dot product of these two vectors. We can print out the result. The objective function is negative 8.783, which is basically positive 8.783, because we mean uh, turning a maximization problem into a minimization problem. And you can see that the message is optimization, uh, termination successful, taking a uh, number of iteration is 17 iteration, okay? And number of functional evaluation, which is NFEV, which is the uh, number of functional evaluation for the objective function, uh, definition function, this one. And the solution, actually, these are the, each buyer, how many share they're gonna buy. Okay. So we can print out the result, okay. So level of money for each buyer, you can actually print it out like this. So we can actually uh, change some of those into uh, integer programming problems since I will say uh, actually each buyer, if they're gonna buy uh, shares and they're gonna buy uh, integer number of shares. So instead of only have 10 shares or 15 buyer, I will have a thousand share share with the 15 buyer, but I'm going to restrict the, uh, the int, uh, they're gonna be an integer solution. Okay, so here you're going to actually uh, rerun this and give you an integer solution in those cases. All right, so <clears throat> we can replicate this for many uh, more share and okay. And we can uh, scale the problem with the number of shares, number of uh, buyer, actually getting a several different results. So this is a quick introduction for SciPy solving a single variable optimization, uh, minimization problem and multiple variable uh, optimization, uh, minimization problem. I'm gonna conclude the, uh, this lecture period and we'll come back to talk about uh, a little bit more involved example later on.